Welcome back everybody. We are going to be making a new home for our newest addition. Ted, our, our hamster. Our hamster Ted. Yep. So he came with a cage, but after doing some research, we realized that his cage is a little too small for him. And Tiffany went looking around and realized that you can kind of make your own habitat for them for pretty cheap with just a Sterilite tote. I'm gonna see if I can't DIY this. Let's yeah, see how this goes. We've got, obviously, big old tote, wire mesh, zip ties, duct tape, something to cut the mesh with, and then something to punch holes in for the zip ties. You know, however you decide you wanna do that. So here he's just using the wire snips or tin snips or wire cut, whatever you want to call these. And he's cutting the rest of what uh, he didn't get out with the box cutter. At this point he's just trimming up some of the rougher edges and making it a bit more smooth with the wire cutters. And just trimming the plastic once again before he goes on to the next step. How hard was it to Cut all that out. Sorry, I didn't know what I was doing. Not as easy as I had hoped, but if you got a really sharp blade, and you just kind of, I found the best way was to just kind of score it, and then bend the flat down a little bit, and then just keep kind of going over it. The wire mesh that we're using is from Lowe's, and it is a 23 gauge, got what, quarter inch squares, I believe. So now we're just going to unroll some of the mesh wire, cut it where we need it. We also didn't go any smaller on the mesh squares because you want to be able to fit your zip ties through the holes and this is about perfect size for zip ties as well. So as you can see the wire mesh is cut to overlap outside of the boundary of where we cut and then we will go ahead and drill holes every so often where we will zip tie the mesh to the lid. Now we're just going to tape this down a little bit. This isn't going to be the final tape but we're going to tape it so that we can line up the holes for drilling to make that part easier and our drill is charging over here because we didn't check that beforehand. Now it's time to drill some holes for our zip ties to get this nice and secured down. Alright, now that we got our holes drilled, time to run some zip ties. We are going to just duct tape around the edge of the wire up top. And this is the fun duct tape that we picked out. We thought it was cute, the little woodland creatures. What do you guys think of Ted's new cage? I don't even want to call it a cage. It's way cooler than a cage. A cage it's sounds bad. It's his new habitat, huh? Habitat. We yeah. have to do one more thing. We have to attach a water bottle. So we've got some Velcro to do that. 
So let's see how easy that is. This is the water bottle we got. It's just a plastic one from Meyer, And then we got this heavy duty Velcro to attach it. I actually cut one of the strips lengthwise in half. Just going to attach it onto the bottle. Very nice, very nice, very easy. I got it attached on here so I can kind of measure the height. So when we got Ted the hamster from the school carnival, um, he came from silent auction. It came with this pure comfort small animal bedding. This is a paper bedding, which is recommended for these little critters. We're gonna go ahead filling his cage. So Jackson and Alice, go ahead and start fluffing that out. Okay, so we don't have much for Ted yet. Um, it did come with this little play octopus. Um, I'm not sure why, but it came with him, so we're gonna yeah. use it. And then we have some chew sticks. Alice saved a toilet paper roll because that's what Alice does. I bought this today. It's an edible, like, decor log toy chew piece. And then Daddy's gonna bring Ted over. We don't even have a hideout for him. Oh yeah, the we all be here tomorrow. All right, so Ted, here is your new hamster mansion. Hi, Ted. You sure are cute. He's probably looking for his broccoli. <laughs> this is your new home. It looks very foggy because I'm looking through the side, but we've got a good two inches or so of bedding in there. And my battery is about to die, so that's my cue to say goodbye, Ted. Goodbye. I bumped it. Goodbye. Bye, Ted. Bye, Ted boy. All right, so that was my DIY habitat for Ted. May not be the prettiest thing, but I Yet. think I did pretty well. Yet. I think we're gonna head off to a uh, pet store and get him maybe a couple other things just to give him a little bit to climb on and some place to sleep in. His wheel will be here tomorrow. We got that on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button, the bell, all the typical YouTube stuff. And until next time, thanks for watching. But guys, so this is for the last finishing touch. Yeah. Good. That way he doesn't escape. And we have nice airflow so it doesn't get stinky. Pretty nice, huh? What do you think of it? Cool, and I really like right here because you can see it through there. Yeah.